What's up everybody? The weekend is almost here and we are back with another video. And I gotta tell you, we are ashamed. Find out why right after this. Okay, so we've had this camper since right, almost three years. Almost three years. And it has a convection microwave. And I never wanted to use it. Not at all. I didn't understand it. What's the purpose of it? I'll just use the oven that's in the camper. So we're going to show you how the convection oven really works and how well it works. Yes. We've cooked a couple of things already and it's come out very, very nice. We noticed that there are a few people out there who have RVs who never use their convection side of their microwave either. So we wanted to put this video together to show you how it can be done. All right, so come along with us, right Gary? Yeah. All right. Okay, so here we have our Furion microwave convection oven. You can tell that it's a convection oven by it's saying convection right here. Also, if on the inside is metal, it definitely tells you that you have a convection oven. So, on the oven, what you have, you will need to preheat the oven when you're ready to cook. You have your preheat temperatures here of 100, 150, 250, all the way up to 425 degrees. So in order to do that, you will press convection, then the temperature. So for example, we're gonna set it up for 375 degrees, and then hit start. And now it's going to preheat. You'll see a blinking bar right here. And what's going to happen next is, while it's preheating, each one of these will light up and give you an indication that your convection oven has been heated up to the 375 degree temperature. With ours, we hear a quick two beeps and then you will hear the fan turn on inside of the oven. All right, so now that David started or showed you the process of how to set the convection oven, we're actually gonna do some biscuits this morning. First time we've ever done these in here, so um, I'm interested to see how they're gonna turn out. Uh, example, last night we made cookies. We had like 12 cookies, we have two left. Dave was very bad. So I'm gonna lightly spray this pan. No fancy biscuits, just the, actually the uh, Pillsbury uh, packet, which I've already opened. Just gonna place these in the pan. And we just got the uh, five pack. Since the kids aren't gonna eat, um, probably eat biscuits, it's just gonna be me and Dave, so I just got the five pack. So we're going to put them in the convection oven at 400 degrees for, I need my glasses. Eight to 11 minutes. So we're gonna check them at eight minutes. So let's get this started, David. Excuse me. All right, so you hit convection and the temperature was 400 degrees and then start. So what we have to do is these lines will light up and go all the way across. You'll hear two beeps then you can put the biscuits in. So we'll do that shortly. Okay, there you have it. The fan has come on. You heard the two quick beeps. 
So Kim, what are you gonna do next? I am going to put this in and all right, it also comes with two racks. It comes with the uh, round one that was just sits up and you can put your uh, pan on it or it comes with this for your larger pans and you just put this in like so. You guys, you see the uh, white uh, tabs. This sits in there and you can put your bigger pans on this rack. Okay, so now we're gonna set our timer for eight minutes and then hit start. And when you have the rail rack, it actually uh, rotates so you don't have to take your pan out and switch it around. I noticed that it seems like it, when it sits uh, stable, that it gets darker on one side. Um, but like I said, we've only done this a couple of times, so we're gonna work on the biscuits now and see how that works since it's spinning by itself because it's sitting on the um, metal rack, which is up on the rotating plate. So let's see how this works. All right, so the timer just went off and like I said, it said eight to 11 minutes. We did eight minutes just to see. Actually, I think I'm gonna put him back in for another two more minutes, you think, Dave? All right, I think they should be done now. Let me not burn myself, because this does get very hot. And here are our biscuits. Look pretty good. We'll let you guys know how they uh, taste later. Actually, let's check the bottoms. Look at that, didn't burn. Perfect, yay! <laughs> All right guys, thank you for uh, watching this. Again, we're going to let you know how they taste a little bit later after breakfast. We're going to fix bacon and potatoes and all that good stuff that go along with it, so. All right, so you might notice that you have three areas here. You have microwave, convection, and combi. Now, to my knowledge, the combi portion is if you want to microwave your food and have the fan on at the same time. All right, just a little tidbit for you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat and we're gonna show you and tell you how things taste, right, Kim? That's right. All right, we will see you in a little bit. All right, so here's our finished product of the biscuit. I'm starving as always. Of course, there's nothing new. You see the bottom isn't burnt, which makes me very, very happy. So let's take a bite. Very good, just like a regular oven. <laughs> you guys gotta try it. So if you have not tried your convection oven, ladies and gentlemen, it's a must and it's very easy. So this wraps it up for this week's video and thank you guys for checking us out. And here's hoping that you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.